Good afternoon. It's the week of Halloween. You are going to the big Halloween party at the end of the week. You've been asked to bring wine, as has every other guest. You're going with to a party that you know have people there that are bringing wine that's been sitting in their wine rack. Your best friend has barefoot, but that wine rack's been sitting in the direct sunlight for the last three years. Or is that creepy guy Fester, who makes his own wine, going to bring his own bottle from the budget grapes that he gets out of his friend's backyard, who also happens to have a marijuana grow operation? No, you need to bring a good wine. So we're going to discuss whether or not you should be bringing Prayers of Sinners 2017 Washington State Red Blend. Is this the answer to your prayers? Or will you be sinful and bring something that you'll regret? Stay tuned. All right, goofy intro aside. <laughs> I'm not known for some of the goofy intros, but we're gonna go ahead. I gotta try it every once in a while. Hey, anyway, listen, you're tuned into Scott here. I am the rookie. This is the Rookie Wine and Whiskey Enthusiast channel. YouTube's primary YouTube channel, mostly based looking towards Washington State wines and spirits, but not exclusively. But we are gonna go ahead today, and as I said in the intro, we're gonna talk about 2017 Washington State Red Blend Prayers of Sinners. Now, according to the label, uh, this is cellared and bottled by Prayers of Sinners and Saints. I have it on good authority from somebody uh, in the wine industry that this is actually produced by Chateau St. Michel out of Patterson, Washington. So that being said, what is Prayers of Sinners? I'm gonna go ahead and read the label because they don't give you a whole lot on here, but here's what it says. One true self lies somewhere between a virtuous good side and an indulgent dark side. In a world full of temptation, we all indulge from time to time. This red blend is for sinners in all of us, the dark side that craves Decadent, smooth, and luxurious red wine. Whether you're a sinner or a saint, we're all the same at the core. The truth will be revealed in the dark. Well, let's go ahead and discuss the truth of this. According to my Vivino app, this is a 90% Syrah, 10% Merlot red blend. I did buy it at my local Hagen store for $10, which, to be honest with you, that's a budget, that's a budget red blend. And I have had some really bad budget red blends this last year. I am hoping this is not one of them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the color. Again, I'm using my Wine Folly color chart here. This is actually a very, I'm gonna say it is a very pale purple. Let's go ahead and take the nose on this. Now, the alcohol in this is at 14.5%. Don't smell any alcohol on the nose, but on the nose, I'm getting a dark fruit, almost like a grilled plum. Some real dark, dark overripe cherries. There's some minerality to this as well. Almost like wet rock, but over the something that comes over the wet, wet rock is a chocolate and a tobacco, almost like a sweet pipe tobacco style of note. Mm. I gotta say, the nose on this for a ten dollar red blend is pretty impressive. Let's go ahead and take a sip of this, shall we? Oh, right off the bat, that plum is up front. It's almost like a sweet tart plum with chocolate, chocolate covered sweet tart plums maybe. Um, that tartness really kind of grabs a hold of your the, the side there and just kind of shocks you, but it's, it's very brief and very fleeting. There's now a hint of, hint of leather on the, on the flavor. somewhat acidic. I mean, it's it's making my mouth very watery. There's also a slight spiciness to it.
Yeah, sort of in the mid palate. I'm getting a pepper or a uh, pepper or peppercorn or paprika style note. I mean, like I said, it's, it's a it's a spiciness that that hits the palate. That oh, it's, it makes, it really does make my mouth. It is it is a savory red blend. Anyways, wow, it's shocking a little bit. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead. The, the body on this, this is a medium-bodied wine. The tannins on this are medium to medium plus, tending towards the medium plus side of things. The acidity, definitely a medium plus on the acidity. Again, the alcohol sits at 14.5%. It does not drink like a 14.5% wine. This, though, is an off-dry to a dry or a dry to an off-dry style of wine. The only downside that I am getting on this is the finish. The finish is, the flavors are right there. They're, they're, there's a good mix of flavors. But towards the end, and, and it, it, the, 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 the first part of the flavors goes like this, this, and then it just kind of drops off. The finish, with the exception of the savoriness, Really, it is just not very long. Um, but then again, I don't really expect a budget red blend. And if this is a Chateau Saint Michel wine, which my friend claims it is, based on the he's a, he's a wine purchaser based on the code in the back. Um, you know, this is Chateau Saint Michel producing a decent red blend for the masses. Now, according to Vivino, this is sold nationwide, so you should be able to find it. Uh, in your local stores. What am I going to rate this? I am going to rate this for a budget, again, I got to stress budget red blend, a $10 red blend. This is an 85, 84, 85 out of 100. Um, this is something that, yes, you know what? You need to bring something to your Halloween party. You've been asked to bring a red wine. You know what? Bring it. Uh, the Syrah is giving me good minerality to it. That's, you know, the, the wet rocks. Um, the, there's also a little bit of, like I said, that, that uh, pipe tobacco. Um, you know, and I suspect the, the darker fruity flavors is coming from the Merlot. But the Syrah, it, 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 it holds up. So, again, 85 out of 100, uh, definitely for $10, I would buy this again. So... If you guys like this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button on this. Uh, let your friends know about the channel. Uh, also, if you like this type of contact, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And when you do, a little bell icon is going to pop up. Go ahead and hit the, uh, the bell as well. That way, when I do upload these videos, you guys are some of the first to be notified. So that being said, um, also, oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make this announcement as well and i'd like to hear you guys' comments you know i'm coming up to my one year anniversary of doing this uh, i believe i uploaded my very first video either at the end of november or last year or the beginning of december and what i'm going to be doing i try to upload two videos a week but with my work schedule the way it is i want to get better at making these videos and i think the only way that i'm going to be doing that is I'm going to try to upload one good quality video per week. Um, I know that some of my other channels that are out that are out there they can upload three videos a week. Um, some of them can upload a video every single day, and I know that they batch videos. But here's what's going to be going on. I think for me to really take on the next level of my enjoyment of both wine and whiskey. I'm going to be needing to take some classes in this next year. I'm considering taking the WESET level exam. Uh, I know several people have taken that as well. There's also some other things out there. But I've also got some ideas. And at the age of 48, it's hard to switch gears completely. And I have to make sure that what I do is right for my family. Um, so I'm also thinking about taking maybe a sommelier class. Uh, I also have South Seattle Community College has a great and a wine program where you actually can earn a certificate and some great winemakers have come out of that particular program. I'm looking, I'm doing some investigating into that as well. I still want to do wine. Wine is my primary love, but I also love whiskey. 
And what I'm thinking about doing is doing four to five videos a month as best I can, learn some better editing skills. But at the same time, I want to split it up to a three to one or a two to two ratio. So three, three wine reviews to one whiskey review or two whiskeys and two wines. So if you guys have any opinions, what do you guys like about this channel? What do you guys not like about this channel? Please let me know those in the comments as well. Anyways, just giving you guys a heads up. I do enjoy making these videos. I do enjoy bringing some of Washington's finest and some of Washington's not best wines and spirits, according to my video from last week, my two bar review when I was out in the woods. Um, again, I still don't recommend buying it, even though I have tried it in my Glen Karen. Um, anyways, listen, as always, please drink responsibly. Life is too short for either bad wine or bad whiskey. I'm going to be in Walla Walla for fall release. I'm hoping to get some videos. Cheers, everybody. And thank you very much for being a subscriber to the channel and for watching my videos. Slot. Yeah, I could see where you can be sinful enjoying this wine.